the site of the next maintenance. The insulation on the AC refrigerant line has deteriorated. It is fall and I have turned the AC off. During this time, I reduce temperature control costs and evaluate my electric supplier at the same time. Golden Judge cleans up a welcome. A journey of home renovation and maintenance. Welcome to Maintaining 18. While the existing insulation is removed and the lines are freed from each other, some words about this maintenance. Insulation deterioration is common and about the four to five year mark. The refrigerant line runs into the house to the air handler unit. Inside, when the line is cold and the attic is hot, condensation of water droplets will mass on the line, creating mold and corroding the pipes. Condensation leads to drips which causes water damage. This portion of a line is exposed to weather and tends to rapidly deteriorate the insulation and hence here I am. There is also a very minor efficiency boost insulating these pipes. The lines need to be cleaned and a little bit more preparation before the maintenance can begin. Cleaning in this case is as simple as wiping off the lines with a paper towel. I also put down a plastic to prevent from overspray of the insulation. After shaking the cold pipe insulation can for over two minutes, I began to apply the insulation. It's as simple as spraying it onto the pipe. The spray fan is wider than the pipe and it can get messy, but it will wash off with some light scrubbing. I want to avoid giving myself more work. I have to get to the underside of the pipe. I'm not able to spray the underside of the pipe as it's so close to the house and it's so close to the ground. There's also not much insulation left in the can, making it unreliable in dispensation. I'll therefore spray it onto a paper towel and then apply the insulation to the underside of the pipe. When the insulation touches the pipe, it behaves somewhat like solder. It bubbles like an antacid. I gave some time for the cold pipe insulation to dry. It gives about R1 and prevents condensation. Not bad. Next, I'm going to wrap the pipe with pipe wrap insulation. The line is close to the ground, not allowing much space to roll the insulation around. So I opted for the easy route using small segments of insulation at a time. The pattern of the insulation closer to the house is very interesting. The space is so tight I had to use very small pieces of pipe wrap insulation. It does make for a very interesting pattern. The pipe wrap insulation gives R2 in terms of insulation value. When applying pipe wrap insulation, the insulation is not to be stretched. In addition, it should have about a 50% overlap. I'm now nearing the end. The next step is the typical insulation, the round pipe insulation. I got a larger size knowing I would be doubling down on the insulation, that is adding pipe wrap insulation. The adhesive on this does not hold well, so I'm using zip ties to keep it in place. I do not want it too compressed as that will diminish the insulation R value. Typically black zip ties would definitely look better. Well, in this case I'm using what I have and I had these. The zip ties are tightened just enough to keep the insulation closed. I can therefore rotate them so the locking mechanism is not shown. While I'm a fan of color, this ain't looking too good. This ain't the gray man look I'm going for. Functionally, this works. However, we can improve the appearance. Let's go a step further. I opted to get some pipe wrap tape as the finisher. This tape will hold all the lines together and further weatherproof the insulation. I'm careful to have the seam at the bottom of the line. Well, that is away from the sun the parts close to the rocks. I've included in the description some videos of others who have done this maintenance with different techniques. Some are similar. 
I'm not sure how long this will last, but I believe more than five years. I did not have to reinsulate the pipe that runs under the conduit or in the attic, and it seems to be in good shape, being hidden from the sun and the water. If you found this AC refrigerant line insulation replacement presentation helpful, select the subscribe button and stay tuned for more home maintenance tips and DIY projects. Don't miss out on making your home even more awesome. As I approach the end of the insulation maintenance, I notice something. There is silicone or glue from last year's 400 amp upgrade. Now this does delay me because I was planning to clean the electrical lines and pipes, you know, related to the AC system. Well, that's going to have to wait because now I'm going to have to open up this unit, get rid of this glue and wash out the system before winter. Plus I have to clean up the air handler inside. Well, I think it's best to do all the cleaning at once. I'll skip ahead so that you can see what it would look like when almost completed. If you watch to the end, you'll see what it looks like when completed, but I'll let you go before then. In preparation for cleaning, there was something I did off camera, and that is to apply a mildew swat. More on that at a later date. Thank you for your attention. The day is one.